Now this is a skateboard. You know, the skateboarding scene in the early 80s was raw. It was backyard. If you saw another skateboarder at that time, you were instantly friends just because you skateboarded. The tricks, the community, the identity, that, that meant a lot. Kids were into it, you know, because their parents hated it. <laughs> so here I am, doing everything I can. Holding on to what I am. It's how I am a superman. I don't know, something happened. It just kind of just crashed. You felt like in the 90s, everything about skateboarding was an us versus them mentality. I was a fading vert skater. My income was getting cut in half every month. And so I started doing whatever I could. Around that time, in the halls of Activision, there was an idea to do a skateboarding game. I heard you always been a gamer to some extent. Yeah, I, well, I've, I've, I've played video games since their inception. Activision called me and said, we are working on a game. We'd like you to come see what we're doing. As soon as I played it and I felt just some of the controls, I knew that was that was the game. The video game obviously turned into something much bigger than I think anyone expected. To think that this may actually affect the evolution of skateboarding, which ultimately it did. It was nuts what that game did, not just for skateboarding as a whole, but for us as individuals.